So here we have it folks, we got ILIC DQ unit, which I believe DQ stands for Desert Quester. So ILIC models are very popular on YouTube. I actually generate quite a lot of views because I believe mainly it's affordable, but I wouldn't consider it to be uh, a smart robot. Smart robot I consider is something that has its own sort of thoughts, AI uh, intelligence on it, while as um, ILIC units from Energize Lab is more of like a program. It has different animations, so I would say it's more like an expression robot. But I would say uh, ILIC DQ actually comes with a special weaponry that you could actually attach on while as there seems to be an additional function on it as well, which we're gonna explore on this video. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Let's take out the package. Before we open up the um, box cover, it says in the backstory, Eilic Desert Quester is a robotic task force made up of nine Eilic members. Oh, okay. Each possessing diverse personalities. Okay, so they assembled for a covert mission. I think there's a uh, quester embodies the uh, spirit of the teamwork, resilience, and problem solving and um, hilarity. Okay, so it sounds like you have to collect up to nine I uh, DQ members, which uh, will be quite pricey actually, but let's start with one, shall we? Pull it up. Wow, look at that. Um, you can see all these animations within the box. It says scissor marks here, so I'm just gonna cut the edge of this. I have to do this so you don't have to. Please do pause and read through the actual comic here. It's quite entertaining. So just to sum up, there was a special mission. So um, several Eilic were created and they fought against the monster. And um, during the battle to the death, um, quite a lot of them were damaged and are doomed to be all destroyed but thanks to the annotator uh, nine was rescued and they were locked but eventually uh, the green eyelick or the blue eyelick actually now unlocked them so the story carries on okay so let's open up the box nice look at that uh, these are stickers actually uh, glossy ones and really good quality i have to say and the first package um, actually hollow on the back, but very nice quality of decorations here. Now the second one, yeah, look at that. That is quite cool. So I presume this will be attached to Ilex, um handle here. Actually open up this. Right, so this is the cool uh, laser gun and it's much chunkier uh, than the standard Ilex accessories actually. The next one is um, laser blaster or tool. <laughs> Can't really define it, but it looks really cool anyway. Before you put on the armors, make sure you actually read this instruction. It says, hey, um, whenever the robot is turned on, make sure that you've activated the equipment access in the settings before um, attaching any handheld uh, accessories to the robot, okay? Uh, so this would avoid anything fall off or something like that. On the other side as well, please turn on the equipment access in settings. So this has been stressed several times, so make sure you do that. Do be do be do be do be do be do do. Pull it out. Um, oh, actually, before we do that, there's another box inside. So we have another sticker and also magnetic uh, units here. And this is a longer, better quality uh, USB-C to uh, USB cable. So this is the instruction manual. These are the ones that you get as a standard. We got the, um, what is this? Like a chocolate milk, pineapple, cake, cheese, and um, beer, and etc. Okay, so let's open it up. Nice, banging noise. So I know a lot of guys actually complain that I haven't removed this protecting cover, but for your purpose, for your enjoyment, I'm actually gonna take it off. But before we get into all these details, look at that. That scrape it um, damaged paint marks is quite nice. Here as well, it looks really authentic. <laughs> Some scratch marks, poor Alec DQ. Um, we got also that paint mark on the back and also here as well. So it feels like very uh, metallic used proper 
not so clean, worn out uh, eyelid, but we've got a very clean uh, screen, actually, the face. And on the top as well, you've got this continuous uh, scraped uh, metal paint marks on it. You've got the speaker here, USB-C, you charge here. On the bottom, because you never see it, it follows the color theme, but very clean and rubber uh, footing. And also the sensor as well, which we have gone through on my previous video. And this is where you join other iLeaks along with it. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's plug in the USB-C cable to power it up. Look at that. So you can see quite a cool um, animation. You don't really see this bar going up and down, by the way, in real life, but you do see this heart beating battery sort of a symbol. So that's pretty cool. It's actually yellow as well, going with the color of Eilic DQ. So let's turn it on, shall we? So moment of truth. Cool. <laughs> Oh, very angry initially. Yeah, you were joking, weren't you? Okay, so um, iLeak DQ is now awakened and it's obviously very angry as a default, ready to battle because this is like a battle version of iLeak. To run through what iLeak uh, DQ can do, so if you actually click on the first one, that's basically the default animation intelligence, bit of an AI on it. Uh, the next one is the um, left or right game. So if I were to choose that, um, basically you just need to choose the right one. So I'll just go for left. And um, I didn't get it right. So you have to do left and right. It's a different animation every single time. Most of the time, actually. I don't know how many animations there are available, but yeah, these are the um, animation that you can expect for a quick run through. So you've got this constant different pattern. It's really cool, isn't it? So, okay, and so on. So let's go for the next one. Um, this is basically like a, um, it listens to the music and then it will dance with it. There you go. So that's this is actually quite a fun feature if you play music on. Um, yeah, you can have a good party. I'm sure a lot of um, people will enjoy this. Okay, so let's um, let's go for the next one because we've got a lot of things to cover here. This is basically um, following whatever you say. Hello, my name is LJP Tech. Yeah, that's something you can do, okay? Yeah, so let's do the next one. These are all pretty much what existed before. Um, and this is the shooting the monster laser game, which is quite fun, actually. It's very well animated, which was available from the previous iLeak uh, model, by the way. But, um, okay, so that's the weapon you choose. And um, you got to make sure the aim actually goes to the monster and you just press it. And you press it, it, it gets destroyed, okay? That's how you do it, okay? So next one is the fishing game, which I'm still trying to figure out actually. So if you press that, it's actually thrown into water and the bait. So if it actually moves, then that's when it actually gives you a left or right. So I don't know whether you're supposed to press this or the, okay. So somehow I actually caught a fish, but I'm still trying to figure out how to press left or right, okay? Um, and after the fishing game, we got the um, puppet mode. So if you press that, this is actually how you can change the different expression. Actually, I just saw a really cool one. It's actually, there are way more different anima animation that is available, facial expression that is available compared to the previous eye leak that I haven't actually touched for a while, by the way. So you can do this and that and so on. So it's frozen mode. So let's actually go to the next one. This is very interesting, actually. Um, if you press this, you can choose Merry Christmas, 
if you scroll through your uh, the belly of Eilid, happy birthday, happy Valentine's, April Fool's Day, happy Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and so on. So let's actually try the uh, Halloween because we are approaching Halloween. So if we press that, and then you got to press the head to, there you go. So it's like a pumpkin, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's quite cool. So if we were to try like Thanksgiving, for example, press. Yeah. Turkey, cool, isn't it? <laughs> so those are the examples, which I will share with you guys as like a shorts um, after this video. Yeah, okay. So those are the things you can do for different events. So going back um, after the events, we got the timer. So this is like, you can choose like how many minutes. And I think the maximum is 90 minutes, by the way, of a timer. And the next one is quite a similar one, but I will call it a egg timer or study timer. So you can actually adjust. Um, yeah, this is again up to 99 minutes of like you can decide how long you can study or maybe an egg timer. And I believe the last one, which is quite interesting actually, is and unique to ILIC uh, DQ, if you press on this one, is that you got the brightness and the sound adjustment, which is uh, same, but if you touch the belly, this is the level of the uh, sensor on the bottom here. I believe this is like the level of um, interaction when you actually bang the head of Eilig because Eilig has a sensor here. And the next one is uh, pretty much the anger level, I think. So you can actually reduce that to no anger. <laughs> That's quite cool. And I will actually like Eilig to be very angry. And this is basically when you don't have the weapon attached, but as we have seen early on, if you want to attach the weapon, you just got to make sure you scroll up and now you're good to go to attach all your weapons. So that's pretty much it. Just so you know, there are additional functions if you have more than two iLeaks. And now we're actually featuring one iLeak here, which is DQ. I'm not sure whether if you have two iLeak DQs, it's going to be different. But if you have more than two, uh, you got the iLeak Theater, which actually they do some sort of performance, uh, Crime Patrol, uh, Dominoes, and also song and dance. But unfortunately, this will not be featured on this video. But you gotta make sure you actually download the software and update iLick as I have do been doing just now. So let's actually attach the um, front vest onto iLick. That looks really cool, doesn't it? Um, and I believe this is the laser blaster or the cannon. That's also very cool. And another sort of handle, laser. Um, actually, on second thought, this looks cooler in some way. So that's pretty much it, I think. I think you can actually press the... Oh, you can't. Oh, that's not really good, is it? You have to actually move it to be able to function eyelid. Anyway, so this is the fully armored eyelid. DQ. So let's actually have a look, shall we? So let's actually bang its head. <laughs> Again. Come on. React, react, react. <laughs> I actually threw away all the weapon, okay. I thought this was all protected. Anyway, we could always adjust that. <laughs> I mean, let's look at the different angles. It's quite cool, isn't it? Though what I wish from iLeak is like similar function to um, Vector. If I ask a question, you know, I don't know whether Energize Lab uh, team are planning to have an AI function on iLeak. It would be really cool to have a dialoguing function on iLeak because it does actually have a listening, um, hearing uh, mic inside it, integration mic on it that will, should be able to interact with you. It has all the potential technology, if you see what I mean. 
and if we can achieve that that will be brilliant but at the moment it's more of a program various animation uh, you can actually hit its head actually it never likes it when you actually hit Ilex's head I think the actual um, arm rest should be more like that thinking about it because sometimes it actually raises uh, his hand and you got to make sure it doesn't actually clash with his ears now a simple correction I need to make this actually is not a bulletproof vest it's actually a backpack um, this is actually the it turns out to be the right way but nonetheless it's my eyelid so I could do whatever I want I think it looks much cooler to have this in the front if you see what I mean but actually the downside of this is that <laughs> sorry I know Eilek is very annoyed but <clears throat> the downside of having a um, bulletproof vest sort of mode is that you can't really press the function uh, on front of the Eilek so um, yes this is the correct way to put it so it does say Eilek uh, DQ number six so I don't know whether this is a six model out of the nine but it's something I guess you guys could also help me understand what this code is um, but I'm very happy with Eilek DQ <laughs> and it's very cute indeed isn't it so let's see if there's a different animation on Eilek DQ when you actually stroke its head okay so it seems to be listening to music okay it's more like music based very excited <laughs> okay, so let's do the um, back rubbing as well. <laughs> Eilid loves it, doesn't it? Back rubbing is probably one of the favorite options. Yeah. Let's actually rub the belly then, shall we? Bubble gum. Bubble gum. <laughs> okay, so if you rub the belly, it will chew the bubble gum. Yeah, you like that, don't you? <laughs> so it's like a tickling tummy. Beef jerky. Beef jerky. So if you rub its belly, it'll be eating something. That's quite clever, actually. Um, so this is more like a rock and roll, kind of playing music. Okay. So there's so many different sort of animation, isn't it? So that's quite impressive. I don't know how they managed to do all these, by the way. Every time when you actually stroke its um, sensor, there seems to be a slight vibration indicating that it's acknowledging the actual touch. So that's very cool as well. So that's pretty much the Eilig DQ for you. I actually thought that there's going to be an additional Desert Quest kind of mode, but uh, so far, it doesn't seem to have that sort of function here. Uh, maybe if there is, you guys could let me know or maybe whether I need to update and so on. Please do comment below and I'll take action on that as well. So overall, I love the build quality. I really like the additional sort of armory that you can attach on to Eilig DQ that makes it really unique. It feels like a special edition of the Eilig series. It actually makes me wonder what will be the next series of Eilig and it could be all these different collections in the near future, several of them, and that would be quite cool as well. Um, the other thing is that, um, again, I would love to see whether um, Eilig uh, DQ or any of the Eilig model in the near future will have an AI function on it. I don't know whether Energize Lab um, are planning to, whether they are planning to do that, but it would be quite cool if it's capable to do that as well. I think that's the only thing that is lacking. It's a really good price. And so I think a lot of people are showing interest on it. And it's really fun to um, play with Eilig as well. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. But if you guys want to point out anything that I miss out, please do comment below. I'll try to come back to you with other additional things that I miss out explaining on this video through shorts. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LZB Tech. Have a lovely evening, day, morning, whatever you want to call it. All the best. Bye-bye.